what's up homies and homettes it's like 30 degrees celsius without the humidity and before you desert dwellers start making fun of me saying that ain't hot it's humid here in ontario man like i'm talking florida everglades humid louisiana bayou humid just as soon as you start moving you rot right through your shirt Ugh. so i hear all the time people tell me man i'm dying to get a bike i want a motorcycle so bad but my mom or wife or girlfriend won't let me because they're too dangerous Now to all of you drivers in Kitchener Waterloo here right now, I gotta ask you, please don't make a liar out of me here. I'm about to tell these nice YouTube people that uh, bikes aren't as dangerous as they think. So uh, if you can go ahead and not hit me or kill me, at least for this video, that'd be cool. But anyways, I think motorcycles have gotten a bad rap just because you always hear about the crashes on the news and everything. To be honest, compared to a car in the same crash, yeah, you're more likely to get messed up on a bike for sure there's there's no denying that in general as far as whether they're safe or not period i think bikes are relatively safe if you're a good rider and you're not taking too many risks i think i'm more paranoid driving around the city streets in my mr2 than i am on the bike because you've got more control on a motorcycle like in a car that you care about like my mr2 you're kind of at the mercy of people like yeah you can avoid some stuff but you can only fit so many cars in one lane. But on a bike, I think it's much easier to avoid accidents and crashes in the first place. Because bikes are nimble. They can brake faster, they can steer quicker and swerve. And they're also small. I have so many more escape plans if something looks like it's about to go bad on a motorcycle than I do in a car. If I'm sitting here in traffic in my car and I see somebody coming up behind me that looks like they're going to rear end me, then there's not a whole lot I can do if that left turn lane was taken by something. On a bike, I'm sitting here watching my mirror. If somebody's flying up behind me, it's lane splitting time. I'm going to slide between all of these cars and get myself out of there. I ain't waiting around to get creamed. And that's the main reason why I think we should all be allowed to lane split. Like, why wait until we're already in harm's way to then find an escape? Well, we can just go to the front of the pack and be safe up there. But I find, for the most part, motorcycles are only as dangerous as you make them. And they're only as fast as you ride them. Now, if you're going to be some kind of a hot shot and ripping around like you're invincible, then yeah, you're not safe. Something that a lot of these people that are afraid of bikes don't realize is that not all of us ride like that. Like, see that guy right there? If they would have... This black rogue right here, if he would have jumped all the way into this lane, if I was in a car, we're probably going to collide if I can't slow down in time. But on a bike, if he would have come in here, in this lane, I know that there's enough room for the both of us in here, worst case scenario. I can come all the way over here, onto this side of the lane, and I can fit a whole car beside me on the right side there. Can't do that in a car. You're slamming into a curb or a guardrail or something. We've all heard the old saying that there's two kinds of riders, the guys that have gone down and the guys that are about to go down. I'm not sure I believe that though, man. There's a lot of riders out there that have been riding for 30 or 40 years and have never been in an accident on a motorcycle. We don't have the luxury that you have in a car on a bike of just kind of laying back and spacing out and just kind of daydreaming a little bit. Uh-uh. If you want to be safe on a bike, you got to keep your head on a swivel at all times and constantly be thinking that guy's an idiot, that guy's drunk, that girl's playing on her phone or doing her makeup. You got to expect the worst out of everybody. And that'll keep you safe. Now, here's another thing and this might be kind of controversial, and I mean this with no disrespect for anybody that has been injured or killed on a motorcycle before, but sometimes even when it's clearly the car's fault for the accident, it's still the rider's fault. You can avoid being in certain situations on a bike that even if something turns bad, somebody does something stupid, you're not there 
to be on the bad end of it. And like I mentioned about not daydreaming while you're riding, you hear about people that are that have gotten killed on a bike in the countryside because somebody made a left turn in front of them or something. And yeah, a lot of times that can't be avoided. There's nothing you can do and they get you. But sometimes if you're out on the highway, spacing out, daydreaming, and then somebody jumps out in front of you, you might not have time to react properly, to swerve or slow down like you need to. And in that case, if you ask me, you're, you gotta take responsibility for that. Yeah, it'll still be the car that kills you. It'll still be their fault. But could you have avoided the situation by being a better rider and making smarter choices? I think sometimes, yes. Again, it'll be their fault, but you'll be right but you'll also be dead or injured, so <laughs> how, how good does being right feel at that point? Lately we've had a few news stories of uh, wheels coming off of other cars on the highways, like on the 401, and wheels have come off of vehicles on the highway and gone right through the windshield of a car behind them or across the highway from them. And that'll kill you dead, you don't even see it coming. You're just driving along, boom, dead. But that can happen even when you're not on a bike. So I'm, I choose not to live my life in fear. It seems like you got more and more people that are just sitting at home on their couches playing video games because they're afraid of what might happen to them in the real world. Not into that. Bring it on. If I go out, I'm gonna go out living. But there's definitely ways to avoid accidents in the first place on a bike. Like see this guy right here? I can be dumb and just sit here right in his blind spot right beside him and if a squirrel jumps out in front of him and he swerves, he's going to hit me. If he doesn't know that I'm here and he wants to change his lane, he's going to hit me. So I just don't give people the option. Don't ride in people's blind spots and look at that. That guy can do whatever he wants now. I'm good. I ain't going to die. One thing I'm always doing is watching how vehicles are tracking, especially because we've got a lot of roundabouts in this city and that kind of gives you a... It's almost like a sneak peek of what they're going to be doing and which direction they're going to be heading, whether they're leaving their lane because they're tired or drunk. Other ways that I avoid accidents is there's certain things that I just don't do. Certain places I don't go, certain times I don't ride. For example, that sky right there reminds me, that's one. Call me a wimp if you want. I don't ride in the rain. I don't ride in bad weather. It's not fun to me. It's way more dangerous because the road is slippery, it's darker, and people can't see you as well because people have a hard time seeing at night or when it's storming out. And I don't have to ride in the rain. I got an SUV and a car with a roof on it. <laughs> There's a chance of a big storm. I'm just gonna take one of those and stay dry. Sometimes you get caught. There's nothing you can do about it. And like today, if it starts to dump on me, I'm just cruising around downtown. I'm just on city streets. I can make it home. What's up, brother? Like, look at this moron right here. What are you doing? You're backing up and changing lanes. But yeah, we see a lot of that in the city. A lot of dumb drivers. Another thing that I don't do is ride on pretty much anywhere on the Friday or the Monday of a long weekend. My reason for that is because you've got all the people coming and going from their cottages and stuff. And they're either drunk because they were pre-drinking on the Friday night before they left. Or they're still drunk and hung over because they've been at the cottage and the beach or whatever all weekend. And now they're coming home and they're still half in the bag. And they're going to freaking kill you. So I try to just avoid it. Now at the same time, if I really want to go for a ride on a long weekend and enjoy my long weekend. I'm not going to let the potential for some drunk idiot killing me to stop me from riding. But I'm going to try and manage that risk at least. I honestly think that riding a motorcycle has made me a better car driver now too. It's kind of forced me to train myself to always be keeping my head on a swivel. I think uh, being a passive rider is one of the most unsafe things aside from being a reckless rider. Being passive is almost as bad. Like being timid and not willing to just take your spot in the road and whether you got to speed up or swerve or do whatever you got to do. And if people can't see you or they don't want to look at you, you better make sure they can hear you, boy. 
I've had a lot of cases where people haven't seen me. And then when I notice that they haven't seen me, they definitely hear me. And then I'm good. I'm not saying I'm not saying to ride around like a jerk or anything. But you just gotta own your spot in the road. Be bold. Like you almost have to force some of these idiots to act right. <laughs> But yeah, I don't believe that bikes are as dangerous or unsafe as some people say. I don't know. If your mom or your wife or somebody won't let you, I always get kind of a chuckle when people say, they won't let me get a bike. Last time I checked, unless you're a child, you're grown, man. You make your own choices. But I think for those of you that have always wanted a bike, go for it, man. You're not gonna die as soon as you throw your leg over a bike. It doesn't work like that. You get killed from being reckless, from allowing others to be reckless near you, and mainly just from not paying attention. A lot of stuff can be avoided if you keep your wits about you. I'm not gonna say that I've never had any close calls on a bike, because I have. Like I said, there are a lot of stupid drivers in this town. So I've had close calls, but I've had close calls in cars too. On another note, if any of you guys watched my recent video that I just dropped a couple days ago about detailing that Datsun 280Z and complained about the quality on it and gave up on it and took it off, I fixed it now. I re-uploaded it and now I'm kind of concerned that nobody's going to find the new version. So. Basically, if you saw that video and gave up on it because the quality sucked, give me a second chance. I think I got it fixed. But anyways, if you liked this video, then like the freaking video. And uh, I'm going to catch all of you guys on the next one.